Hello and welcome back to Tharic Plays More Time, City of the Damned. I was actually just trying to record the newest episode of The Walking Dead Michonne, but the game keeps crashing on me for some reason, so let's do some more time. <laughs> uh, I'll get it in the end after all, but maybe they need to install a fix or something, because apparently I'm not the only one with issues. But let's get to the issues at hand, actually. We have in more time. We still have 10 days left to make our next shipment, and we need a little bit over double the amount of wordstone we have at the moment, so that should be fine. On a negative note, we did lose Petra in the last episode. She died, unfortunately. Just really unfortunately. So we have Petra von Schenk II at the moment. I'm recording this before I could get the feedback whether or not uh, it's okay to rename her like that. We build her a little bit differently. And we're going for heavy armor with one-handed weapon and shield now. And her skills are also in that order f for now. And before I keep forgetting it, because I always think we should buy this, or maybe because of the, the rune is not that good, but it's still a purple weapon and I shouldn't forget that. And that means it does more damage than a blue one. Which is also why I might want to buy this dagger, but I'm not sure yet if I actually want a dagger on someone, because daggers have lower damage than other weapons. So I'm not sure in that area yet, but we do have that now. Do we maybe just want to give that to Petra? She's got parry bypass. Might not be the worst idea ever. Or we could... She's got... Let's give it to... Narondia, I think. Yeah, she already has a purple one, but that way she could get two. Does she have the yep, vital strike? So maybe Ada. She doesn't have an active ability yet. Yeah, let's put the Mace of Warding in her main hand. And then... The Mace of Misfortune. And also the, the uh, accurate bonus, the hit chance bonus is bigger. Uh, yeah, let's give her that. It lowers her dodge by 10%, but that's not too bad. And now we can go look for a mission. Let's take a look at what we have available today. So, no new story mission yet. We've got a brutal mission with good wordstone, a normal mission with average wordstone, and a hard mission with average wordstone. Um, I think we could go for this brutal one. It's nice deployment, good wordstone, uh, marked for death, might or might not happen. Or you know what? Let's let's do this. Let's send one scout first. Nope. Okay, let's do this hard one because I want to see how. Our new Petra basically is performing before I want to throw her into a brutal mission. So the setup might be a bit weird, but usually being caught exploring buildings is not as bad as being scared and scattered. So I think even if we get that deployment, uh, we should be fine. Uh, yeah, so let's do this one and we'll be right back with deployment. And here we are. We get to set up around our wagon, so that's basically the best, I think. And there's the... Wow! What's up with the map? It's... Their wagon is down there. The word stone is right here. All of it. And where will they be? Because we will catch them exploring buildings. But are they down there already? Really? That would waste all of this map space. That's weird. I don't know if they will be there. We'll have to wait and see. I really can't think of anything. We can set up Rienda only there, so let's do that. And in this, I think the deployment is not as important or... Because we're all so close together, 
uh, it doesn't matter too much where the individual uh, units are. But Petra is a lot slower now with her heavy armor. And we're playing against another Sisters of Sigma warband again. This time they have two augurs. And their impressive is right up there with the initiative. What's up with that? So maybe we're getting a one-armed again? That's interesting. And I don't mind trying to go for their... Uh, wagon if we can and steal their idol we're going in that direction anyways because of the word stone uh, depends whether or not they are all down there as well so I pr we probably should go in that direction with Narondia just so that we if they are down there we can hopefully or if they're not hopefully we can get to their wagon next turn and we'll pick up the words done with somebody else. Or multiple somebodies, I should probably say. But that they're impressive is... Right up there with the initiative is a bit weird. They have higher morale, which is not that surprising, considering that uh, we lost the rank 10s hero. So our morale took a small hit in the numbers. Okay, wow, hello, there's their impressive. That's not something I wanted to see, so they're all down there, or at least in part. Or it's just their impressive, I don't know. Anyways, this will get interesting really fast. And let's just focus on picking up some words down here. Updated. Objectives update. How much do we need to gather? Eight, which is not a lot. Uh, there's a lot updated. of nice words done here. If we can get all of it, our shipment might already be secure. Objectives I mean, that alone updated. here is 50 in weight, what I just picked up, I think. 15 for clusters, 10 for shards. And I don't know if I really want to ambush because those could all be traps. And if I charge, I don't know. Maybe. We'll probably trigger something, but I'm not sure what's best here. Yeah, for Sigmar is not as helpful anymore. Um, considering that Petra is going at a later point. Um, but she might still be able to help a little bit. Yeah, let's prepare more than anything here for something. We'll get the words done next round with her. Well, we have, we still have others that can go, but we should move someone else down there. Uh, in preparation for their impressive. Maybe we also want to just engage her already this turn. I mean, they do already know where we are. And if we can just start this off by taking down their impressive, I don't mind. Well, personally, I, I would have loved to not see the impressive at all, but with uh, Sisters of Sigmar, that is highly unlikely. It might also just be that they're all a little bit further away, but just the way the setup of the impressive works is that there was only one space for her to be set up, and that was down there by their card. Uh, so yeah, that might be what happened. So far we don't see anyone else, but... Oh, yep, we did see one. So they might, after all, just all be down there. Getting something with Vilda would be awesome to increase her movement range, but I doubt that she can actually get there. So as well, next turn. But maybe we can get Keta there. She at least does have 
bigger movement or more strategy points, I should say. Objective and she has a lot of inventory space. Um, but I don't know if we could have moved better for that. We won't be able to move afterwards, but we will be able to pick up two Objectives more. Updated. Yeah, this is going to get Objective complicated updated. real fast, I think. And their impressive is actually giving me a small headache at the moment. Yeah, let's go for Sigma's might. It might already be a factor. But we failed, and I don't think we want to go for a second one. 35 is actually okay. It's not good, but it could be a lot worse, so I'll risk it. Okay, worked out. And then we've got Seraphim, and with Seraphim I will definitely go down, down here and start attacking their impressive... Can I get that and still have a dodge over? Yep. So let's see how much damage we can inflict here. She does have a lot of hit points and her magic resistance is apparently pretty good. Okay, thank you. Third one. Nope. Four is just asking for it. And then we will dodge right here. Okay, Petra. I would like to move her down there as well, but I don't know if we can afford to. So let's use her for Sigmar to increase the speed of the last remaining two that are up here. Just so that we can move them down there. And then she'll slowly make her way in that direction. She is a lot slower than she used to be, but... I think it should still be fine. And do we want Tunisa to try and trigger... Well, she won't be able to. So do we maybe want to go for Wordstone after her with her? Probably not, because we do already have a lot of hours over there. We probably just want to move everyone in, into range and set things up here. A little bit further. Ambush. Yep. Okay, they are all down there, so they these are the buildings they were exploring, so this part of the map is all wasted in this setup. That's strange. And let's see, can we maybe just cut across here somehow? A little bit? I'm not sure. Let's retrace this. I really don't know if that's better or worse. Let's just see if we can reach already. Yeah, we pr we are probably able to. And she's not wearing heavy armor, I think. That's the reason. Or is she? I won't be... Oh, I can charge and still be able to dodge. So we probably should do that, even though it will cost me an attack. The thing is, if those are traps, I need to charge between them, but I think I will. Okay, let's see what we can make work here. I don't want to sinful speech her, because I actually like if they cast. Uh, that way, at least she won't uh, spend all of her attacks. Uh, yeah. Uh, all of her offense points on attacks 
and the, uh, the spells are usually not too bad. And we're dealing an okay amount of damage already here, I think. She is down to about half. A new round has started. The problem is that the the one now is not that big of a deal, but there are two more, uh, or three in total, that are coming before we basically get to do a lot of things, and both are the augers. So they will come over there real soon. Uh, I can't sidestep now after this. But I still want to engage on her. Okay, the vital strike is nice. But we didn't crit, unfortunately. And let's just see what they will do. We do have some ambushes that are set up. Maybe she won't go on the two that are engaged already? Yes, she is. Okay. Miss is good, means we all still have our dodge. There goes that. <laughs> and they should get a lot of attacks. Maybe one more? Nope. But this will quickly devolve into one hell of a brawl here, I feel. And I'm really... Oh boy. Hello. Oh, she's just ambushing? But she will hurt a lot. Oh boy. Yeah, please don't attack. Only attack her. Wow. What the crap. And she's got sidestep. Okay, inventory is full. Let me see. And really, I need to go around again because this is not connecting. I should have just picked up the word stone and then engaged because I did not know that. But we can't help it. Uh, this is a problem. We won't be able to reach, I think. Okay, I can charge and bait out and get rid of her ambush that way. Let's do that. And she missed her counterattack. That's actually really good. Eva. Uh, she won't be able to reach this turn anyway, so let's pick up a little bit of Wordstone. We might as well just fill her up. Object or complete. in part. Part? My god, that... <laughs> <laughs> that voice sounded weird. Uh, so far, so good, though, with the debuffs. And maybe we'll actually get a positive one with increased movement range or something. That would be nice. And, oh, hello, Zealous Corruption. That's initiative. Yep. So let's gather this one. It won't cost us much. He says, and then this happens. Yeah. Let's just move over. And Seraph might ho is hopefully our saving grace here because this could escalate now really quick. Is it really quick or real quickly? I don't know. Anyways, they have five sisters in a row now, and they are all near. I assume. Uh, the only thing that might save us that it looks like they pretty much blocked their points of approach. Maybe something can fit behind that one auger, but that will be everything that can fit there. So hopefully we will be okay. Okay, what just happened there? What was that? Really, what was that? If anyone knows, please tell me. 
<laughs> I don't think it was displayed in the log, was it? Nope. The big thing here is taking down their impressive. Possibly, if at all possible, this turn. Um, yeah, let's... Put some more on Kete. If we can make it out of this with all of the word stone, that would be awesome. Or with most of the... I don't know if I actually want to take the time to pick up everything with our remaining sister here. Uh, that's probably not in our best uh, interest, but we definitely want to get that cluster. Ellen will increase her movement range because of her passive ability, so it's... We should at least pick up one word stone. Oh, please tell me I can get there to buff. That's really nice. So we're setting up right here. First off, a Sigma Smite. Oh, come on. But that's not too bad. And I can... Oh, there's a lag. Okay, so the game lagged a little bit. I'm getting nervous. First, the one game I'm trying to record crashes. And now this. Uh, let's... Healing circle. It's not a lot of healing, but it might just be what we need. Nope, not with a failure. To keep Narondia alive. But, oh well. Nothing we can do about this. Let's see, can we... Yep. And gather that without... Probably. Okay. And... Well, we can't fit on there anyways, I think. So we might as well just pick this up and go over there next turn. Well, we might still be able to reach, but... Um, what applies to us basically applies to them, so we can most likely reach or get anywhere. But at least, oh boy, of course I get, an, and now I get a, a warpstone effect that basically negates the bonus. <laughs> That's a bit unlikely or unfortunate. Petra. She basically made no progress yet. And she won't get there for one more turn. And we probably rather want Eva to have the buff because her initiative is higher. Okay, I need to rethink maybe putting her into heavy armor because she's basically not doing anything at the moment. She can't get anywhere and the enemy's already so close. And let's keep attacking their impressive. She is over half dead, so the comets plus our impressive combined should hopefully be good enough, but not with an unworthy buff, because that just takes away everything. Yeah, this is starting to be a bit problematic. Maybe that way someone else can still get on there. I doubt it, but we never know. And we can start to deal some nice damage to this auger. If we can get rid of their impressive and both heroes as first things, basically, that's really good. It won't be easy, but it's still our best bet. And this is getting really important now. Uh, but we won't be able to take her down. I think. Uh, we're just not dealing enough damage, and with the Righteous Fury attack, uh, she took away one of our offense points, so we get one less attack. Uh, so I think she will get another round of attacks. It's really unfortunate that Seraphim just got a one a comet off. Has started. The question is, can our 
one novice live through this attack or these attacks to uh, maybe do something against the impressive. Otherwise, she will definitely be down. She was hit with Righteous Fury as well, so no Kidney Strike, but we still get two normal attacks. And we still need to try. Um, how much... We need a crit to get this done, basically. Okay, we don't. So this will be a big problem now. I mean, we do have a 90% dodge. Uh, but it's <laughs> not... I think she will go down, unfortunately. That is a bit of a problem. And if, uh, even though she has big reach now... Yep. Minus hit chance. That's perfect. We can still get on here. Okay. And one more. One hit is okay here, considering the amount of um, uh, the hit chance we had. Hmm. She succeeded all alone, of course. Oh boy, yeah, she's insulting Narondia. That's okay. We're dodging, and that. One more. There's a dodge fail. Yeah, insulting Narondia does nothing, because if she gets hit, she's down anyways. But at least for now, they're not hitting. She gets one more attack. Oh, wow, she survived. That's awesome. Oh, oh, oh I spoke too soon, but still, that should be it. So their impressive is probably at rank 9 or something like that. Oh, come on, please hit. We do have these nice new... This nice new combination that deals a lot of damage, I think. We could have taken her down if we had hit twice. But still, the whole engagement is actually good for us, I think. Even though one of ours might go down. Um, it might not happen anymore. We'll have to see if they manage to flank us somewhere. Oh, there comes a comet. But on Tunisia, that's not too bad. She could have chosen a worse target for that. Definitely. Okay. Oh, she's right there, but we don't see her yet. Our line of sight is a little bit weird. Oh, she's climbing up and maybe jumping down somewhere else. That we can work with. If she comes down on the other side. Oh, hello! She's right there. And we're probably blocking our own line of approach here. We'll see, but this auger is almost down, so we will be able to move afterwards. That's another ambush, apparently. Or most likely, I think. Vilda. Can Vilda get through here? Yes, she can. That's fine with me. And now is the battle of the shielded guys. Uh, I don't know if she's actually wearing heavy armor because there's a look uh, on the novices that makes it look like they're wearing heavy armor, but they're not. So that might just might just be it. And Kata will just keep doing what she's been doing. Hopefully without any wrath this time. And we'll even use a healing circle. But we fail again, because... yep. <laughs> Let's move back a little bit with her and just parry. Okay. Um... I don't think we need to come out of Sigma or her, but we probably still should, just to open things up right away. So that's one down. That's 
two. And then we can start attacking her as well. Three, and with the last one we're actually going into close combat. And I do want to take a look at their loot, if we can. Uh, I should have just done that here already, but... Uh, it uh, My mind blanked there, and then we were in close combat. Oh, hello, Petra. Oh, she's just so slow. She can't get anywhere. <laughs> I mean, she's there, but... It will be one more turn before she can actually contribute to anything. Can I loot here? Probably not, so let's... Go here and help out against this one. That way we have the all alone. As always against sisters, it's pretty unlikely that they will fail, but... We at least should try to force them to it. Yep, that's what I was hoping for. So we've got a Mace of Defiance, which is really nice actually. Plus one charge and ambush range is good. And a Flail of Alacrity, which on damage received gives us a chance to gain one OP. That's not bad as well. It's a bit reactive, but I like it. Um, Abrienda is a little bit beat up herself, so let's actually focus on this target for now with her. She should be able to deal a good amount of damage. Maybe we can already take her down. Uh, probably. Yep, and with that it's a, it's a pretty solid. <laughs> nice. So that's two down, and she still needs to rank up herself, so this is not a waste in any way. And that means, let's, yeah, let's engage right here. That way we get a last attack. Yeah, that ran really well. Let's see what they do. They do have axes now, again. And that's what I was afraid of. Yep. I should have blocked there. I really should have blocked there. Ah, <laughs> crap. So we have to hope that... Oh, she's stupid. Uh, that Narondia won't die as well. I... Since that happened once, I am really nervous that it might happen again real soon. You never know. You just never know. But we took down three of their numbers already, which is certainly helpful. And let's loot. Yeah, we can't. You know what, let's... Let's switch. And this as well, still, because I don't know if that influences or not. But we want to make sure that we have her loot. And then we go here. 52. Oh, I still have got that stench of chaos for two more turns, really. I mean, we hit once, which is already awesome. Wow. 252% hits. That's really good. We got pretty lucky there. Okay, Ada. Ada, Ada. Where do we want to go with Ada? We can't make it through anywhere, so we need to go on their leader. Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Crap. Of course, we crit, so they have to crit. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too worried about Abrienda against one with only a one-handed weapon. That's not enough damage to, to be dangerous, at least for a turn or two.
It's pretty unlikely that we can reach anywhere with Vilda now. What we maybe could do? Nope, it's only a jump down point and no, not a climb point. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, we can climb up there, though. Let's try that, maybe. It's 53% chance only, but it's better than being stuck back here. And because we failed once, the chances are actually going up, which is a pretty nice mechanic. Oh, it's blocked. Jump down. And we can move and can charge, so we will ambush. Yeah. Not something I want to deal with. This is really unfortunate with a stun from their leader. Oh, come on. She's failing a lot of her spells at the moment. At least one per round. And then that happens. But that's not too bad. Let's go back again. We should leave enough space for her to disengage. From their leader, maybe. After that two-handed crit, that seems like a reasonable idea. And Petra. Can we go somewhere useful with her? Let's climb up as well. Maybe she can reach somewhere useful next turn with that. We'll see. Um, let's stand on this point for now. Maybe this one will be gone and we can jump down. I doubt it, but it might happen. You never know. It's one... Yeah, let's finish her with a normal attack. Goodbye. Only normal stuff. And instead of attacking their leader, I think we should probably go on this one. Uh, or not. Well, probably their leader, after all. She's... Uh, oh, come on. I'm failing 90% left and right and getting punished for it. So I can't spellcast anymore. Uh, we need to present more targets here. So let's go there. Or not present, but... Uh, just so that they don't take anyone else down. We need to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's see, maybe we can... ...stun their leader. That would be perfect, but I doubt it. She did resist the first stun, and I didn't actually look at the lock at how likely that was. That's probably one of the instances where the lock is nice to have, because it gives additional information on whether or not it was just lucky, or if her resistance is actually that high. I probably could go back and take a look. I don't know how extensive the backlog is in this thing, but it's fine. A new round has started. Okay. We want to keep dealing damage to her. We still got Stench of Chaos, so every hit is good. One is a good start, and two is a miss. Okay. But really close. 71, and we needed a 70. <laughs> And she actually fails her all alone, which is really nice. Prayer of Swiftness has increased dodge, I think, but she didn't dodge. And that she's stupid is just 
the cherry on top of everything at the moment. Um, so Ada has open wounds again, but at least it looks like she won't go down. Oh, come on. Yep. Open wounds for Abrienda. There's our ambush. So that's just sister against sister again, I think. Yeah, hamstring does nothing, I think, to us at the moment. I'm not sure, but I think it produces something. Initiative or movement or something like that. Okay. And I will just keep trying here. With the spells, at least for now, one Sigma's might won't hurt. I hope. I have been proven wrong already. And we also want to try the healing circle again. Maybe it will work once. Nope. <laughs> and we're unworthy again. And that actually gave me an achievement forsaken by the gods. So I think that's 100 wrath uh, in total, I assume. Did she dodge or anything? Yep, so good thing we got rid of that first and now we can kidney strike. Didn't do anything. At least, not too much. Okay, so hamstring is minus one SP. Uh, which we don't care about at the moment. And where do we want to engage with Petra? How close to death is she? Pretty close. So with our three attacks, we might be able to take her down. That makes this less likely. Yeah, we needed all three, I think. Um, yep, or a crit. Not a miss, though. 95% miss. <laughs> it is what it is. It's okay. Um, one experience point doesn't make a difference, I think, at least short term. Long term, things are obviously different. And we will leave that kill to Abrienda because she can actually make use of that. Well, we shouldn't because I can't cast because I'm still repenting. So we should take her down so that Seraphim can attack something else. Okay, yeah, why not? We won't loot anything else. In that case, let's just engage here as well and get another hit in. And they should be close to routing. Yeah, we need to take it down one more. So basically their leader. Which we should be able to make happen. Wow, right now? Really? That I did not think would happen. I think we hit it exactly, basically. And we've got a great flail of enervation and some smelling salts. And we might want to put these on ours because it removes stun effects and the target recovers without penalties. And that should mean that she won't be affected by, um, by open wounds, doesn't it? And let's take a look at their card. Yep, we'll take those. And I will steal their idol on top of everything. Uh, because why not? <laughs> it's another blow to their morale. And that is already below routing. But I think that will make it pretty... Yep. They had no chance there, apparently. Or with a roll of 100. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, we got more heavy armor out of this. Purple heavy armor, I should say. 
And four clusters, seven shards, and a few fragments. The faithful Three. need never fear defeat, for great Sigmar's strength lives within them. So for a mission with average wordstone, that was a lot. And that's 60, 130. We're not quite there yet, I think, but we've got something around 130 nice. to 140 Ooh. wordstone, I think. Okay, Keta leveled up. She got more spell points, so we can master her healing circle now, I think. Uh, good first outing for our new Petra. Light wounds for Ada. Okay, that's unfortunate with the Twitch, minus agility and maximum agility, but our dodge chance is still not bad, so it could be worse. But it's one of the more annoying negative effects here. Oh, wow. So... And that crossbow as well, which is at least worth some money. And a pendant. But this armor is really what I'm looking for, I think. So we're up to 118. Uh, 218. Uh, let's pay upkeep. And then one round of treatment. Um, but this means we will have to wait a little bit again. So we need to advance two days. Maybe we'll get some skills in. We might as well. Let's take a look here. Spells. Healing circle. Her intelligence isn't high enough yet to master that. We can't get that yet. So we should get something else maybe. Uh, we could master Sigma's Might, but I actually really want to master the Healing Circle. So we won't do that. Uh, I don't know. We'll, I'll, I'll think about it. But I think we have to skip two more days because we don't have the henchmen to replace everyone. And I would like to hire a rank 5 henchman. But a sister, not a novice. Um, because we only have two sisters, but four novices. Yep. Uh, so we need the downtime to get everyone back up again. Narondia will be out and Frauke will be back in. But what we need to do is give Narondia her weapon back. And we can put Abrienda into the new armor here. Plus agility and leadership. Uh, it's actually not bad for her. We are, we are dodging. That does help and leadership is just an added bonus but that works so I'm happy with that okay so that will end this episode I hope you enjoyed this one if you did please leave a like and a comment and if you want to see me look yep and if you want to see me play more more time just subscribe if you haven't already I would really appreciate it and as always thanks for watching I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day bye